Isn't it funny how, uh, and this may be just when you get, when you start getting older, uh, how uh, s some memories come to you from the past, just out of the blue. I was sitting here just uh, on my way to the, to pick up Barrett to go to the job site. And um, I just had this vision of me and my grandfather sitting on his front porch. It was an old two room, uh, tin roof shack with no insulation and an outhouse. And we, we've spent a lot of time with my grandmother and grandfather when I was growing up because, um, you know, my mother basically raised uh, the three of us kids, brothers and sisters, uh, by herself. So she worked a lot. So we spent a lot of time at granddad's house and, you know, we called them Papa and Nanny. And um, my grandmother used to have us go out in the field, the farm, and help pick, you know, beans and stuff and okra and whatever, you know, whatever the season was. And we'd sit on on the front porch with, with my papa and snap beans and do whatever, you know, run the churn or to make butter or whatever it was. I still have my grandmother's old old churn. Um, it's in pieces now because it, I didn't realize when they dry out, they they fall apart. The metal rings are what hold it, hold them together. Anyway, I need to do a video on that churn sometime. Anyway, I remember my grandmother fussing at us to make sure that, you know, me and my brother, make sure you get those strings out of there. And uh, we, we didn't really think it was that big a deal. You know, we're thinking, well, it's just, you know, string. That's why you call them string beans, right? You got strings in there. And uh, it's part of the plant, right? Well, she got us back one night. We were sitting there and eating dinner and she said, I told you boys to get them strings out of them beans. And uh, she had gotten one in her teeth. And so she pulled her teeth out <laughs> at the dinner table and uh, and pulled the string out of her, te her teeth and stuck them back in her mouth. And of course, that kind of grossed us out. And she taught us a lesson. <laughs> oh, the good old days.